So we are back in the garage. Uh, it is raining outside, so unfortunately my daylight from the uh, exterior of the house is lacking. I had a light fixture above me, which is now removed. Uh, I had a ballast to go out. So I've got some lights on order, so until my lights come in, it's going to be a little dark and gloomy in here, unfortunately. Uh, anyway, I'm in here messing around, and I noticed uh, this paint on this uh the windshield cowl here uh looks a little weird like it's pliable you know this stuff is it's like gum and i realized that it's actually seam sealer this whole piece from from here where my finger is all the way out to the end here is covered in seam sealer um i took a flathead and and pushed on it and you see it just kind of clumps up and it's just it's nasty, and they painted over the seam sealer. So this is something that I'm going to have to address and remove before, you know, before I can paint. Uh, it's going to be kind of messy doing this, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and do that first before I go any further with dis disassembling the front end and jacking the carpet and all that. So hear that rain? Oh yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get all this stuff removed and uh, try to clean this up a little bit. Okay, so we are back, and it is about two weeks later. I ran into a slight issue with the ballast in my garage. Uh, as you can see behind me there up in the air, I have one working light. Um, behind that, right about there was another light, and the ballast went out in that. And the ballast also went out on the light that was up here. So, I have... Uh, ordered, I ordered all new lights, 8 foot LED lights. I've now since got those things uh, installed up here. Now I got my light back, I can work on the car. And I also had to go out and get a wire wheel. Um, this Mustang here, the, the, uh, the window cowl, the windshield cowl where it meets the firewall. It's got some pretty thick seam sealer on there. Uh, I was trying to scrape it, it wasn't scraping very good. Um, I'm pretty much giving up on that technique. I went out and got a wire wheel. So I'm going to go ahead and have another crack at this thing. I'm going to uh, try to get all that scraped off and start sanding this engine bay so I can actually get some progress. So anyway, here we go. <laughs>
sealer right in this crack here and it's going to go down underneath here it was that wide and probably an eighth of an inch thick uh, all the way across all the way across the front of this uh, cowl to the other side and down in there as well so pretty much the seam sealer protects these seams right here um, I will put another I'm gonna put some etching primer on here first and after I etch it then I'm gonna come back and add the seam sealer back on there before I paint I'm gonna sand a little bit first uh, by hand and then sand the whole engine bay and all that start taking apart the front end stuff that way I can have a easier more simple canvas to start with and uh, yeah so add some more seam sealer back on there and uh, whenever I paint it it'll be ready to go so moving on I just got the wheels removed off the front of this car. Check this out. What do you call that? That is some seriously caked up grease, dirt, grime. You can't even see the bolt. <laughs> God almighty. Look at this. What is this? <laughs> Man, I can't wait to get this off of here. So unfortunately, my trusty camera battery is crap and it died on me while I was halfway in my process of removing the suspension and everything on the front of this car on the passenger side. It's uh, I was in a groove, so I didn't feel like stopping for the camera. I don't think it was that important anyway, as far as a restoration goes, removing suspension. But here we are, passenger side removed. Got the uh, the cross member is out. Uh, got the sway bar. Uh, the bolts are out on the passenger side here. I said to get back over to the driver's side because it's not going to drop. You can see there the bolts are out. It's not going to drop until I take off that side over there. So anyway, steering rack. There it is on the floor. And uh, the tension rods on the front. Uh, that's been removed on the passenger side. Passenger side is done. 
Uh, I think I still am going to get in here and uh, get this motor mount out of there. And I'm going to take off all these uh, all these nuts here at the, the shock tower and um, take off these two bolts up here. Just going to set them aside. That way it's easier to sand. I don't want to paint over that because that wouldn't look too great. And we'll probably get new hardware when we put it all back together. So anyway, um, this is it for me for today. I'm going to come back in a couple days and I'll pick up where I left off. So, But when I get a minute, I'll be back and we'll do the driver's side and we'll start sanding. All right, so welcome back. It's been just a couple days. Uh, I had to take a quick little break. Um, I'm going to get back on this Mustang today. Uh, I got to take out the... Uh, the remaining suspension on the driver's side right back over here I have a couple projects going on at the same time so you know it, it, it's kind of hard to get everything all in and, and get done on one vehicle at a time uh, but just to show you what, what I got going on obviously I have the Mustang here like I said today I'm gonna go ahead and knock out all this suspension right here and clean up a little bit over here and start sanding uh, to get ready for paint in the engine bay but along with that I have a the 5.3 uh, LS motor here uh, is supposed to go in this guy. Um, I'm going to build it. And I am. I just loaded up the block. It's uh, it spun a, uh, a lobe on the cam. So I'm, I'm in the process of trying to drop off this motor to see if it's buildable. And uh, I hope it is. I'm trying to board out probably to a 5.7 or something like that. Put a healthy cam, uh, you know, head package on it and... Eventually, that truck's going to have a turbo set up. So, that said, uh, this is a V-Star 1100 motor. Uh, I just wrapped up degreasing it this morning. i got to let it dry, and after it's all dried up, I'm going to uh, come back to it and uh, paint it. i got to paint it black. I bought a V-Star 1100 for my wife. Um, anyway, it was a bobber build. And the motor was garbage, so I had to buy another motor, so here it is. And the other motor was black, this one's silver, so i got to paint it black to make it match. Anyway, this is what I've been working on. Sorry for the delays. We're going to get right back into this Mustang and keep moving forward with it. All right, so here we are. Finally got the uh, suspension out of the driver's side. I got a mess here I got to clean up, but uh, you know, short of that, uh, mission accomplished as far as suspension goes. Got that out. I took a little spare time here and uh, got the motor primered um, for the, the motorcycle that I was working on. But that's another story. So 
So that's going to be about it for uh, this episode. I got the LS53 uh, block that was sitting right here on the floor dropped off the shop today. There's some goodies here. This looks like a mess. I know it looks like a mess. However, it is not. We got four brand new tires here. We got some brand new Scott Drake wheels for the Mustang. Brand new, uh, brand new springs for the Mustang. Lower control arms, upper control arms, shocks, struts, all new bushings. Uh, back here we have uh, some U bolts. We got uh, perches there for the uh, shocks and struts and leaf springs in this box. And there we have a five lug conversion and Willwood disc brake conversion. So we'll be getting to that very soon. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for episode number three on the Mustang. If you have a comment or a question, just drop it down below and I'll be sure to respond to you as quick as I can. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe so you can be notified of future content being released. As always, share the knowledge, share the passion, share the skill, do it yourself.